Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how you can grind the 81 plus double upgrade in FIFA 22, whether you're trying to do it for profit, whether you're trying to break even, um, or just make them fast as possible. So if you do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, um, and let's get into it. I'm going to walk you through a couple different ways you can do it, um, how I would do it, and then how also um, you can kind of get creative if it gets harder to get these. So the requirements for this is you need 11 rare players quality is minimum of gold team chemistry is 50 so you have a full team to get the 50 cam but it still might be decently difficult to get the cam if you're getting a lot of people off a of position or people who aren't linking at all so i'm going to show you the price of gold rares in the market and then i'm going to show you some workarounds so if you're someone who's trying to make profit on these what i would recommend you do is go to gold rares get an idea of where the market's at with prices Currently on PlayStation, everything's going for 750. Um, and once you get to 800 coins, you're gonna notice that there's a huge drop off in players that sell. But if we switch that filter to something where we share some sort of similarity, whether that's a league, whether that's a nationality, it's gonna get a lot easier to be able to pick these cards up. So as you see here, or make it easier to get these on chem. Um, as you see here, every card goes for 800 within the hour for Serie A. Um, we don't have a Serie A league SVC yet, so I'm gonna take advantage of that too. Um, as a potential investment, I would go through here and bid 650 on every single card you can. Um, if you want to bid 700, you can too. It's just going to be a little less profit. Then once you put the cards in your club, you have the cards that you're going to use for your team. At that point, if you just want to keep bidding on them and selling the duplicates for profit until you're in profit, feel free to do that. Um, that's a pretty easy way to do it. Again, it doesn't necessarily need to be just league. You could change it to, let's say, nationality. You could go to German and see if you could pick up German cards. Just know that some nations might be harder to pick up. Um, some leagues might be harder to pick up. So you're going to have to experiment to see what works for you. Now, when you're picking up cards, you might get to a point where gold rares just keep going up in price. They might go to 800, 850, 900. If that's the case and it's starting to become a struggle to pick up cards, here is a workaround. If you go to leagues, you go to the Libertadores. Libertadores cards count as rare cards. So as long as the rating is over 75 or 75 and over, it's going to count as a gold. So you could technically come in here and set up a filter like this where you're getting a minimum price out there of 500, maximum price of 600. Maybe we'll put that to 650. Um, that way we can get 76 ratings and above. You'll start to see some of these pop up. Like we have a 78 here, has a 650 bid on it. Um, and it's lowest by now, it's like 800 coins. So you could easily pick that up for 650 um, to 700. Same thing with all these, find kind of some cards that work well for you to pick up. And the great thing about this is Libertadores are all from the same league. And a lot of them share kind of close um, nationalities. You'll get a lot of Argentinas in here. You'll get a lot of Colombians in here. So this is a good workaround to getting bids and getting chem as well. So hopefully that can be helpful for you. Um, if you're someone who wants to also grind for the chance of let's say getting something in packs let's say you're going for fodder um, let's say you're going for making as many packs as possible you can intertwine this with a league sbc grind if you wanted to now i have a bunch of videos on how to grind league sbcs on my channel if you want to check those out feel free to do so i'm not going to explain too much about league sbcs in this video but you have all these different league sbcs that if you wanted to you could put cards into and get cards back so you could grind the Liga MX and at the end get a rare election players pack where you're going to be getting six gold rares. So this would help you a lot with the team requirement along with giving you a bunch of other cards along the way. Um, that's the way I personally would do it. I would find a league SBC to grind, do it that way. So you're having fun opening packs. And then I take kind of my bonus stuff and I go into the 81 plus double upgrade. Um, you can try both. I would assume pack luck is going to change over time. That's typically the way it works. If you notice the 81 plus double upgrades are getting really bad, um, take a break from them. Go to League SBCs, make some packs, make some coins, do what you got to do. Um, you don't have to make a million packs at once and open these up. What I'd recommend is going one by one, making one, open it. If you think that was good enough, sweet. If not, take the untradeables that you got from here. Let's say you get 281 rated. Put those 281 rated back into that team and get yourself a cheaper version of the 81 plus double upgrade instead of buying 11 cards you now will only have to buy nine so i would kind of use that logic when you're going through it but yeah that's about it i will make another video on how to grind the 
um, to the week one as well. So you guys enjoy. Feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll put my Discord in the description and I'll put it in the comments. Feel free to join our Discord. It's free. We go over trading tips. Um, we go over stream times, videos. We look at your guys' team. Bunch of fun stuff. So I'll catch you there. It's been your boy, Mumbley. I'm out. God bless.